So I want to do something. We did a video on this event not too long ago, actually, the April 19th, 2023 event, Nighttime Supercell, just tornadoes everywhere, right? We talked about it in that video. Well, we're going to break down the radar image as promised because, my gosh, this radar loop, absolutely incredible. Hopefully, we're going to get this done pretty quick, but we'll... <laughs> We'll see. I'm pretty long-winded. So let's get started. Let's take a look at it now. Uh, you can see, here's the start of it. Like, we're, we're, we're just going to loop this through once, and you can just uh, see all kinds of things happening in this, right? It is absolutely incredible. Uh, one of the coolest uh, uh, radar loops I can ever remember seeing, uh, especially in the Southern Plains. So with that said, let's pause it, and let's go to the first, and let's just start uh labeling this how about that so let's get started here uh i just want to take a look at the reflectivity first because i think this is important to take a look at and so here's here you see uh supercell one and supercell two right uh you see that pretty clearly right there uh first supercell i mean obviously uh hook echo right here coming around like this uh second one same thing back here at, around norman uh, for the record, my uh, position was uh, right in here. Uh, let's make that a one, and you can see this is my position right down here. So I was looking at both of these uh, supercells actually with uh, just absolute, oh gosh, this, this was really incredible because I was watching this one. I mean, this was the one I was watching, but I kept seeing lightning off in the distance. And I was like, what is that? Uh, not sure what's going on. And it was because there were two supercells. And here, uh, if you look over here on the velocity, you can see uh, southeast of pink here. You can see this is the rear flank downdraft working itself in. Uh, let's actually just use an arrow here. You can see the rear flank downdraft is working around uh, strong winds into this as well. Uh, and th back here at Norman, same thing. You can see the RFD working itself around, and you got the inflows right there. So, so we're we're watching this, and as we step ahead in time, just a couple. You can see you go from uh, this to obvious tornado now, right here. Uh, let's uh, first time I've ever used this, so we'll see how this works. Uh, you can see obvious tornado right here at Pink, right? It's uh, located. Uh, right here in this area. That's where the tornadoes usually are. This is the updraft right here. Uh, and that's the RFD wrapping around the updraft. And that's the inflow notch right there. So that's a lot of arrows. But yeah, you have the uh, inflow notch here that where the air is coming in. Then you have the westerlies around the circulation and that circulation usually centered right here, just southeast of pink. And that's where you see ongoing tornado back here uh at norman uh you see all the same stuff you see inbounds outbounds and you're looking because you're looking somewhere in here for the tornado not really seeing it right there but we're, we're keeping an eye on it okay and so as we uh then step forward in time see that tornado continues there southeast of pink it's actually uh if you take a look here uh dang it I'm going to get this right someday. Uh, you can see it's actually moving north. So you're seeing the cells themselves. They're moving this way, uh, but the tornado itself is moving this way. So cell this way, tornado that way. So this is why, uh, for instance, if you were, uh, you know, in the notch looking at this storm from right here, uh, and you think you're safe because, I mean, the storm itself is moving this way. Uh, you know, I'm good, but actually the tornado is moving north towards you. So uh, when we say uh, the keep right rule uh, in storm chasing for when I talk about it, it's this right here. Uh, it's going to be stay to the uh, right of actually in this area. It's like you're in the path. You want to be down here and that's where I was I was you know I was chilling out down in this area so um so you want to be right of that so as we keep going you can see again uh let's move this forward in time you can see how that hook echo there it just wraps and lifts northward into itself and so now what has happened I mean you had this really cool well-developed supercell and now this hook is way back here um 
back in the back. I will get this right someday in the future. I promise. So here we go right here. So you see the weakening tornado right here. It's right here. It's wrapped in rain now because this is the supercell. It's still wrapping around like this. So this is still one. This is still two. Two's going over the radar. That's the radar right there in case you were wondering. It's TLX. And this one, this one's uh, hook, hook here, the RFD, doesn't look as pronounced right now. And you can see it actually really well developed right here. And if you look, you can actually see how that RFD is, uh, you know, spurting out in all directions same way here you can see how it's wrapping around uh very cool and so these two supercells what you're going to see is that eventually this supercell right here is going to draw back to the north and west as this one surges to the east i've seen this a couple of times it's called what is a fujiwara effect and you can you're going to see how this tornado continues to lift right here back to the west northwest so it basically took a route that went from here to here and now it's lifting back northwest so again uh if you are to the left of this you're in trouble to the right you're okay so with that said let's loop this around a little bit you can see actually on here you can see a really clear now fine line developed um oh come on annotation so say so you can see here a fine line has developed uh, right through here. That's the RFD. That's, you know, 100% the RFD pushing down right here because you can see it here on velocity as well. And again, <laughs> look at this. This tornado is still going right there. It is up there north of pink right now. So pink, it's up in here. So look at that. That's not a classic presentation. As we loop this around now, uh, let's loop this around back. You can see how this tornado does this and just lifts back to the northwest and eventually it goes west. This tornado goes west. It's just really, it's a wild evolution. And so another thing that's happening though, that were you paying attention? Did you see it? Uh, yeah, right there. It's the east of Bethel Acres. Uh, east and north of Bethel Acres, there's another one. So let's loop this again really quick. You can see how that tornado goes right there. And then suddenly, oh, there's one right there by Bethel Acres. And it's moving north. So really cool, right? Like, wow, that was cool. So let's uh, move back up in time. You can see that. And you can see this new tornado has taken shape here north of Beth Bethel Acres. I'm going to try to uh, get this annotation back up here. And you can see right here new tornado right it's north of bethel acres you can kind of see it on uh uh reflectivity there once again rfd's here oh the tornado's back here <laughs> it's, it's chilling out and then this supercell starting to surge ahead here at pink and you can see you're starting to see uh some pretty strong inbounds pretty strong outbounds just west of pink co-located right there so two supercells uh, you know, I wouldn't doubt if there was still a little bit of a ground circulation back here. It's wrapping around in a merry-go-round. Just wild to me. So as we move forward, keep an eye back there. You can see Bethel Acres is moving north now. And now back to the northwest. It is now moving northwest. And back here at Pink, just want to point this out now. You can see right here, northwest of Pink starting to look pretty suspicious still got a tornado looks like right here this looks suspicious look at this look at these inbound winds this is all happening look you can see this supercell has become a giant c-shaped this one is surging ahead and this rfd is just like pushing through it's wild so this one's still getting some inflow though and you're going to see what happens what's going to happen is this supercell is going to surge ahead into the northeast this RFD is going to be pulled back west. Well, let's try to label that with a different color. This RFD is going to be pulled back west. This RFD is going to surge, and there's still going to be inflow coming in here. That's a lot, but you're going to get a, a tornado start forming really soon right here, uh, just south of Bethel Acres, and that tornado is going to lift up towards Shawnee. So let's loop this. I'll show you what I mean. So you see, you're still seeing like what well, looks to be maybe a tornado there northwest of Shawnee, in that C shape, in that rain, 
wouldn't wouldn't suspect it right if you weren't uh very aware on the reflectivity what's going on possible tornado there but look back here toward pink you can see these rfds are consolidating you can see there's still some inflow there and as you go forward oh there it is suddenly it's pretty apparent right suddenly after all that it's pretty apparent right here got you a tornado got this you also have these inbounds right up here uh northwest of shawnee with a little bit of a surge back here so that's happening uh that's happening up in here uh and then you have this one happening where this is surging around and doing this thing and right there just south of bethel acres get you a new tornado so as you go forward, I mean, obviously now you got your tornado, big tornado on the ground. Uh, at this point, for the record, uh, here's my view. And I was actually looking, I was actually on this highway right here, this highway right here. And I was looking west-northwest at this. This thing's moving northeast like this. And I, I was pretty sure of this, but I was being very careful just in case it surged east. So I was kind of lagging back. And as this thing lifts northeast, because all of them seem to lift northeast at this point, I just kind of crept up behind it and ran into damage right here. So, and you can see this tornado just keeps lifting north. And so, again, one tornado, two tornadoes, possibly a third tornado there. And then you have this one forming southwest of Bethel Acres. And, I mean, just watch this. Absolutely wild how these two supercells did this. And you see how that first supercell just kind of gets ab absorbed and wraps back around the second supercell. It's absolutely wild. It's, it's one of my favorite radar loops of all time. You see just tornadoes spitting out, moving north and northwest. And then you can see here toward the end, watch this, watch this there. It just kind of loops back around and actually starts moving southwest. If there were a tornado back here, I don't believe there was one recorded and you were like following this from the west you've got another one coming so the only way to chase this safely uh in my opinion uh was honestly and it was kind of what i did too for the record so I, i'm bragging on myself i think a little bit here but it was starting here it was moving back east then it was moving north and following this thing be there so again i think when you have something like this what where are these supercells they, they were originally moving uh, in a direction that was kind of like this. And so you kind of want to be at, at this axis, which is somewhere right in here. And you kind of want to sit south of it right in here to start. And as you see, especially here toward the end, you can kind of start creeping up north because you're probably okay. What you do have to look out for, though, uh, in this scenario, and I'll show you uh, what I mean here. I'm going to stop it at the end is that you have to keep in mind a couple of things when you're making a close approach at night. And I'm going to point them out right here for the last point of this video. Tornado is right here. It is south and west of Shawnee. So what I was looking for was a couple of things. Uh, is there inflow back up in here? Because if I go up here, if I'm in here getting blasted by RFD with this tornado right here and there's another one forming south of me and going to lift north, I'm in a pretty precarious situation. So what I was looking for and what I saw was this RFD has spread all the way past me. I'm here. I'm clear of the RFD. And actually, at this point, I was actually looking up into the clear slot. So I was sitting in the clear slot following this tornado north and there and this RFD was just pushing to my east. So I felt pretty good in this situation. But always keep contextual clues. Radar is really helpful. During the uh, during this whole thing, radar is very helpful to break down what you're looking at. You want to make sure that uh, when you're chasing at night, you want to be in a really safe position. This is just my opinion. I could have probably been a little further north and got a little bit better view of these tornadoes. I was being pretty cautious. It was my first chase of the year. And I was chasing an area I hadn't chased it in like five, six, seven years. So I was trying to be a I was a little too cautious at the beginning a little probably a little too aggressive at times at the end but this was a really uh wild event it was destructive but it was one that I think there's a lot to be learned from so I hope this uh little video was helpful I hope you learned something we're going to do a lot of these types of things so be sure to subscribe hey that's right up here above me 
that show on you to subscribe. Remember, weather is for everybody. That includes you. We're going to break down events like this a lot more, and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you.